This tutorial explains how to handle the error message error in scan line 1 did not have enough elements in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the txt file that I have stored in a folder on the desktop of my computer. So this txt file contains the following values that you can see by opening the file. And as you can see, this file contains three columns, x1, x2 and x3. And then it also contains three rows. However, you can also see that in the middle, in the second column, a blank is shown. So in the first row, there are only two values. Now let's assume that we want to read these data into R. Then we might try to apply the code that you can see in lines two and three of the code. So in line two of the code, I'm applying the read.table function and I'm applying this function to the path that leads to the file in my folder on my desktop. And then I'm also specifying the header argument to be equal to true because in my txt file, I have a header with the column names x1, x2 and x3. However, if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the error message error in scan line one did not have three elements is returned. So this indicates that the first line in our data did not have enough elements. So it did not have three elements as the number of columns in our data. So if we want to avoid this error message, we have basically two alternatives. So the first alternative is to go back to your data, open the file and insert an NA value at the position where the value is missing. So if I insert an NA value here, and if I save this file as a new file, my data complete, save, then you can see that this new file is appearing in the folder on my desktop. And now in the next step, I can apply the read.table function to this file. So in this case, I'm importing the mydatacomplete.txt file. So if you run lines five and six of the code, you can see at the bottom that an output is returned. And this output has an NA value at the position where we had a blank in our data. So this is the first way how to fix this error message. However, there's a second way and this way is based on the fill argument that you can see in lines eight to 10 of the code. So in this case, I'm using the fill argument and I'm specifying this argument to be equal to true. So if you run lines eight to 10 of the code, you can see at the bottom that another output is returned. However, you can also see that this time the NA value has been inserted at the last position of this row. So in comparison to the previous output where we have inserted the NA value in the second column, this time we have inserted the NA value in the third column. So depending on how you want to format your data and how your data should look like, you have to choose between the first and the second alternative on how to fix this error message. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.